barbershop conversations, man. Um, I just saw something. Uh, Michael Benson just, I went to his stories and he said, <clears throat> excuse me, the WBC made an exemption for Lamont Roach to move up to 135. First, I want to say congratulations on the Roach family for building their promotional company, building the fighter up. Um, this is no hate towards them. I want to be very clear. But I don't want to see Tank Davis versus Lamont Roach. This is official, like, Tank, dude. Tank, this is like me questioning the boxing community and not going to question them in person when I was in boxing, right? Um, I always, if I criticize you online, I always found a way. I had to go cross country to get Oscar De La Hoya, ran into the media guy in Home Depot. I drove all the way to Fresno to get Andre Ward. Flew all the way to Arlington, Texas to get Eddie Hearn. Countless run-ins with Eddie Hearn. I mean, uh, Bob Aaron. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, uh, I'm gonna say it's very shallow of Tank to keep on weight bullying lesser opponents. It's always something, man. It's always something with Tank. It's never, you're the best, I wanna fight the best. It just, it's just never, it never is. And I want to add, I think Tank is a tch, elite. I think he's elite. It's time for him to show it. And y'all got to, Tank got to start dropping, you know, um, out of the pound for pound rankings because he's keep on weight bullying and fighting lesser and fighting the opponents that don't make sense. Uh, if you're going to fight somebody, at least have someone come down. I mean, I don't know, man. I, it's not making sense to me, man. Uh, Mario Barrio said he had a hydration clause. Ryan Garcia had a hydration clause. This guy's going up. Excuse me, Roach is going up. Tank, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck, man, as a man. And, this, and, I, and I'm coming to you, not as a street dude. As a man that protects his family with his life, as a as a man that pays his taxes, is a law-abiding, God-fearing citizen. I'm starting to question you as a man. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to do none of that because that that's what the baby daddies do online. No, I'm questioning you as like as a man. I've never said it online when I was in boxing, and didn't. I looked forward to saying it. I ain't gonna lie. If you know me, you know me. I looked forward to the encounter in person. I looked forward to it. Man, I chased it with my own money. And Tank, I'm questioning your masculinity, dog. Like, why is it always you get a competitive advantage in a contract, man? I'm questioning it. Now, I'm not going to say I've seen change, but because I haven't seen you, you've been quiet. I have seen the backpack, um, but you were going down that hip hop generational uh, uh, portal. You got two baby mamas, two daughters. You assaulted a woman. And you want competitive advantages. You want a handout. You're basically a Democrat who boxes. You want handouts. You want free stuff. You want to get something for half the price. No, you got to pay the whole price in boxing, man. Deontay Wilder walked into every ring undersized. He never asked, you know, um, 
Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford bust they butt to make 147 each. It wasn't a rehydration call. It made the best man win. Uh, you know, I, 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 I don't respect it. Tank, I'm, I'm going to say this for real. Tank, you're too good. You're too talented for this. That's why I'm questioning you as a man. I don't question your skill set. I question your management. I question you. Like, was there a heightened weight requirement when you assaulted a woman? That's all I'm saying. At least if you're going to... Nah, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it, Y'all know what I'm thinking. At least fight bigger women. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know? Um, no, I'm not tough. Yes, I would say this to Tane's face because I'm protected by the law. You know what I mean? <laughs> protected by the law. You know, you'll never see me. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I'm calling the police. <laughs> A fighter hit me. I'm calling the police. And then I'm calling Gloria Aldrin. <laughs> I'm abiding by the law, man. I'm a law-abiding citizen, dog. That's all I'm going to say, man. But I'm starting to question you, dog. Don't fight Lamont Roach at no... Nah, he's a 130-pound champion. You know, let him be a 130-pound champion, dog. But it's his payday. Congratulations to him. I, this is no knock on Lamont Roach. Train your butt off. Get the fight. It's a payday, but... You didn't fight Tio. You didn't fight Haney. You didn't fight uh, Rio. You didn't fight, and you didn't fight uh, Shakur. Enough said. You didn't fight the top five fighters in your weight class. You've never fought the top five fighter. You know what I mean? Anyways, go ahead and have a wonderful day. Um, you fought one, right? Is Ryan Garcia considered top five? I don't know. At the time, he wasn't, you know, so... And he had a competitive advantage against Devin Haney. So y'all go ahead and have a great day. And I stand on this. I'm a man. I stand on it. I don't respect men who, who willfully drink and drive. And I don't respect men who hit women. Period. And I, I, I've been that from day one. Remember, I went and got Kovalev. Y'all remember? Little Freddie went and got Kovalev and, and, and his promoter, Kathy Duva. Y'all remember that, right? Y'all do remember that, right? I just want, because the pro-blackity black's going to say, oh, he only do that to black. No, 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 no. I stand for the truth. But all the blackity blacks are going to vote for Kamala Harris anyway. And they're going to say, well, I had to vote for somebody. No, hold your vote. Be a black man. Be pro-black. Vote for, they got a black husband and a black wife. <laughs> I'll go. Peace.